Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, Watertown police need your help identifying a man who apparently followed a woman and tried to get into the house where she is staying. The woman was returning to a house on Laurel Street early yesterday morning when a security camera captured this video of the man. He was seen hiding behind a car in the driveway before trying to open both the front and back doors of the home. Fortunately, both were locked. The man appears to have this distinctive tattoo on his left hand. Riders need to put up with yet another week of shutdowns on the Green Line extension. The T says construction work on both branches is behind schedule. Nighttime diversions on the line are extended for another week. Riders heading to Somerville or Medford after 8.45 p.m. will need to board shuttle buses until at least December 17th. State lawmakers will discuss a bill today aimed at expanding the care EMTs are able to provide to police dogs hurt in the line of duty. The bill is a modification of Nero's law named after the Yarmouth canine injured in a 2018 incident that killed his partner, Sergeant Sean Gannon. If passed, this would allow some EMTs to provide advanced life-saving care to canines. Right now, the law only allows them to perform basic care. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Alyssa Andrews. Hey, Alyssa. Hey there, Liam. Good morning. So we are looking at rain showers clearing out, and as we do, we're going to be looking at drier skies for the rest of the day, and even the clouds will begin to move out as well. So by about 11 a.m., many of us looking at drier weather, drier air ahead, and then by about 3 o'clock, most of these clouds begin to break down. This happens very quickly after the front passes through. We get dry skies and even a little sunshine trying to peek out before the sun sets. We are still looking at some wind warnings, though, especially for the Cape and Islands. We've had gusts reporting topping over 70 miles per hour today. That does include Falmouth at 71 earlier this morning. So those forecast wind gusts are going to be mostly the strongest towards eastern Massachusetts, and we're starting to scale it back on the flood watch, so that's good news. Now, there are still some flood warnings there, especially in central Mass. So that does include areas like Worcester going to see some extra rain on the roadways. The next few days, though, look pretty good. We're going to see temperatures heading into the mid 40s with some sunshine. So after we get through these rain showers here for this Monday morning, that weather alert will be allowed to expire. And then we go into Tuesday with more sunshine. The rest of the week looks very mild. Some great December weather coming up, Liam. Sounds good, Alyssa. Thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.